Kenny Murphy, good to see you. How are you? I'm all right. How are good, you? Good, good, good. Very well, thank you. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is your fifth time working with Christopher Nolan. So it seems, so yeah. So it seems, yeah. yeah. What is it like working with him? Uh, how different is it working with him than it is to working with any other filmmaker? Well, you know, Chris has very sort of specific approaches to the work. Um, I mean, every director is is, di is different, you know, but I suppose I've had the pleasure of working with Chris a few times now, so you get a, a sort of a, an insight into how he, and how he goes about it. And it's very, very rigorous. It's very sort of demanding on himself and on his crew and on his cast and incredibly focused. Um, and, you know, his vision is so clear and so strong. You feel very confident, you know, in sort of being part of that. And when he pushes it, you know, it, it feels like a good place to be. Mm, definitely. And it really feels like watching these films that without him around or in the industry working today, there wouldn't be films like this being made on this scale at, at least. Um, does it feel like that when you're on set with, with the actors, when you're filming the scenes? Well, I think... You know, people talk about Chris's films like on a, like they're on a big scale and that they're epic in nature, and which is certainly true. But always in my experience, it's always uh, the things that I remember is the sort of intimacy of the work together. You know, that the particularly in this film, we're on a little boat out in the ocean, and it's just three or four actors and mm. Chris and the cameraman and the sound guy, and that's it. You know, so it feels really intimate, and I know that around it, there's this huge story unfolding. But that's been my experience in all of his films, really, you know, just about the performances and about the work. Yeah, sure. And you spend a lot of uh, your time working with the incredible Mark Rylance. Yeah. How was that? I mean, it was a dream come true for me, really. You know, I think I, I'm such a fan of his and I think any actor is, you know, who knows Mark's work is also a fan. And, uh, not only is he such a brilliant actor as we've all seen, he it, it just has this tremendous energy around him. It's such a generous energy and spirit to have on set and you know for all of us on the boat you needed that because we were out there all day long f in all sorts of weather conditions for a long time and you know he's just so lovely to be around yeah pro mm. like you all are you're all pros well you get through it <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's one of the most uh, intense films um, i've seen uh, probably ever was it was it intense filming it yeah, I mean, yeah, like all like all filmmaking, there's moments of extreme intensity and then you wait and then there's moments of extreme intensity, you know. Um, but, you know, when the spitfires are flying over and when the sea is on fire, when the destroyer is tipping and all of that stuff, you do, you know, it does take your breath away a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you all felt like between everyone, the cast and crew felt such responsibility of telling what is one of the most important, important stories of our history. Mm. Um, when you saw the finished product, were you just blown away as blown away as you hoped you'd be? I was blown away, yeah, and also quite humbled, you know, because yeah. you, you remember that these 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 were real men and women that gave their lives. And, you know, we met some of the veterans at the premiere, which is also so, very, very affecting. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think we have paid a tribute to them in some small way. Certainly. And uh, just to finish, a, 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 a bit of trivia. Uh, what um, If you could choose a Chris Nolan film that you haven't starred in, one of the very few you haven't starred in, uh, that you, if you could just go back and add it to your filmography, which one would you choose? Man, I'd happily be in any of them. You know I mean? <laughs> it's a tough question. I mean, I remember very vividly seeing Memento in the cinema, um, but there's no part of me that really. Uh, I love The Prestige as well, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And Interstellar, I saw it and it, you know, it made me cry. So I listen, I pop up on any of them. put them all, oh, just add them all on, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. happily, you know, happily be in any of them. You know, they're all just, I mean, he's, he's, he's not made a bad film. They're no. all wonderful creations. Yeah.